For viewers watching this, getting to know you for the very first time, care to share where you were born? Chicago. And care to share where you were raised? I was raised on low end at first, and then moved to West Englewood area. And what age did that take place in your life, and what was the reason? So it was like 2002. I think I was probably like 11 or 12. And I guess the reason was to live in a better, I guess, neighborhood, which was, that shit didn't even make a difference. And are you still in that area you moved to at 11 currently? Yeah. Now, what was that really like growing up in either location in Chicago? On the low end, it was more like, uh, I want to say more uh, so freedom to do bad shit, like as far as roaming free, uh, you know, being outside with my brothers. But the West Englewood area was more like we was, we was more so like on a on a leash, like being really couldn't really roam like that. We ain't know nobody. And how were you able to survive that upbringing? You gotta adapt. And it's, it sucks. That shit sucks. You gotta adapt in school. You gotta adapt in the neighborhood. All that shit. You gotta fight a few people. All that shit. Would you say that was the key to your survival in that environment? Moving around in general, yeah. You gotta, you gotta bump elbows with a few motherfuckers. Some, some people ain't gonna like you. Moving around in general, yeah. Now there are some people who say things like. Don't know if I'll make it to see the age of 18 or 21, mm -hmm. maybe 25. Did you have any of these thoughts yourself growing up in that environment? Yeah, I did. What age didn't you think you would make it to see back then? Well, I was struggling through high school. I was uh, trying to figure out, like, I was thinking, like, light years ahead, like, overthinking, like, like jobs and buying a house and all of that shit like regular people do. And I was trying to figure out how am I even gonna make it to that if I'm not gonna finish school, so. Shit, I'd say like 18, 17. And did you end up finishing school by any chance? I got a GED, but I ain't like graduate or go to prom or no shit like that. Like, I dropped out like beginning of junior year of high school. 11th grade? Yeah. And care to share what high school you attended back then? I went to um, Gage Park. And what was your reason for dropping out at that moment in your life? I wasn't learning shit. And, and school was like, more so like a jail. Like, when you walk in there, bitch, you gotta walk through metal detectors. So, I mean, fucking my finna stay here for. Now, some people don't earn a GED. When they drop out, that's it for them. Yeah. What was your reason to get that GED? Um, I felt like a disappointment to my mom. So I was like on some like, man, I gotta do some type shit. And how much time passed after you dropped out before you end up earning that GED? So I dropped out probably like 17. I didn't get the GED to like 19. I was like running the street shit. When you finally do get that GED, what was your mother's reaction? She was happy for me. She was happy. She was proud of me. And care to share what age you are at this point? 31. And care to share your birthday, the month and the day? July 29th. What do you make of that outcome now that you were able to see the other side of that age you didn't think you might make at one point i felt old bro but it's like to be old and to do the things that i've done is like it's it's a blessing it really is i shouldn't be here a lot of stuff i did should have been in my life knowing what you know now being on the other side of that coin Hypothetically speaking, what would you have said to your younger self back then? 
Stay in school. Being cool is uncool. Stay in school. All that cool shit out the window. Cool shit equal bad shit. Being a nerd and, 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 and just dodging trouble and shit, getting, getting grades, that's where it's at. All that trying to be cool shit, that shit ain't where it's at at all.